हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट डिटर्मिन द एक्स वाई एंड एन एन टी कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सिक्सटी फाइव किलो न्यूटन फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम सो वी आर गिवन दिस सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विच इज एट एन एंगल ऑफ फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज विद हॉरिजेंटल सो विद हॉरिजेंटल दिस बीम इज मेकिंग फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज एंड वी आर रिक्वायर टू फाइंड एन एन टी and x and y components so first of all we are going to find the n and t components the n and t components so for n and t components we must know the angle of this force f with any of these uh, axes so we we need to find we need to have the angle of this force f with either t axis or n axis so in this diagram we are given the angle of this force f with the t axis so we can say that if we are given the angle with the t axis then we can say that this force f will have one component in this direction we can say that this will be f of t and f of t is as you guys can see if if this is the positive n direction and this is the positive t direction then f of t is in the negative t direction and similarly we will have fn component we will have fn component like this so we can say that this will be fn component like this so again fn is in the negative n direction as well so we can say this is fn and if we add them by head to tail rule so we can say that this fn plus ft must give us this force f by head to tail rule so is as f of t is adjacent to the angle so this is adjacent to the angle then f of t will be the cos component so we can say that f of t f of t is adjacent to the angle so this will be f cos of theta which is 40 degrees and f magnitude is given which is 65 kN so 65 cos of 40 and this will be in kN and similarly the n component will be the sine component so we can say that f of n will be f sine of 40 degrees and f magnitude is given which is 65 so 65 sine of 40 degrees so now we can find that 65 cos of 40 is 49.79 so we can say that uh, f of t is 49.79 kN and fn is 65 sin of 40 this 41.78 so fn is 41.78 kN so these are the fn and f of t components these are the n and t components now for we need to find x and y components the x axis is going to be in this direction and the y axis is going to be in this direction so let's say that this is our positive x direction and this is our positive y direction So now, as you guys can see, that um, this force F is making forty degree with the tangential axis, and if 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 this is that n axis, and if this angle is forty and this angle is ninety, then this angle is fifty degrees. If this force F is making forty degree with the tangential axis, then this force F must be making. 90 minus 40 degrees with the normal axis so this means that this force f is making 50 degree angle with the normal axis so let me show that this angle is this angle is 50 degrees and as you guys can see that the diagram tells us that the normal axis is making 15 degrees with the horizontal so in other words the normal axis is making 15 degrees with the positive axis so we can say that this axis this angle is 15 degrees so this angle is 15 degrees 
so from this we can say that this force f is making 50 plus 15 degrees with the positive x-axis so 50 plus 15 is 65 so now we can show that this is that force f and this force f is making 50 plus 15 degree angle with the positive x-axis so if this is the positive x-axis then this is making 50 plus 15 which will be equal to 65 degrees so this is that force f now once we know this angle we can say that this force f will have one component in this direction that is in the negative x-axis if this is our positive x-axis and this is our positive y and this force f will have f of y component in the negative y direction so this will be f of y so this is f of y now again uh, f of x is adjacent to the angle which is 65 degree then f of x will be the cos component so we can say that that f of x will be equal to f cos of 65 degree and we know f magnitude which is 65 kilonewton so 65 kilonewton so we can say that f f f of x is 65 kilonewton cos of 65 degrees and similarly f of y will be equal to 65 sine of 65 degrees so if f of x is the cos component then f of y will be the sine component so we can say that f of x is 65 cos of 65 which is 27.47 so f of x is 27.47 kilonewton and similarly f of y will be 65 sine of 65 which is 58.91 so 58 0.91 kilonewton so these are the x and y components of that force f and these are the normal and tangential components of that force f which were required so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions from engineer statics by mary man craig